Ah, back in Dongrest. Well, we were in Dongrest already. Hey there, this is Comic Foil, and we're playing Tales of Vesperia, episode 27, I think. There's Rita. Um, when last we played, we were trying to um, uncover a plot by the Blood, the Blood Alliance, one of the guilds, to uh, basically incite a war between the guilds and the Empire. Um, and Rita and Rapid were just tailing them. Up, oh, yep, there they are. We're going, Barbos. I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. The Tower of Blastia, of course. I have yet to receive any reports about them. I forget what these guys sound like. Why should I have to report to you about something like that? I remember Barbos sounded like a pirate. But what? Building that lousy tower fortress of yours without speaking a word of it to your employer? You even went so far to use Leviathan's claw for help. I'm not your lapdog, Rago. Having trouble with these names here. Just gathered the cores together, like you requested. It's thanks to my efforts that you were able to make that weather-controlling Blastia. And just what made you think it was okay to carry off the extra ones? Our mutual non-interference was a condition of our agreement, was it not? What? And did I ever interfere with what you were doing? Oh, we got kind of the odd couple of villains right now. You know, so far though, these have been the only clear villains I think we've gotten through the whole game. Oh, we're here. We made it. Are we going to fight Barbos now? I doubt we're going to fight Rago. World series of villains. What fool would dare to heckle my exquisite performance? Oh, if it isn't the little runts I met on my ship. You're the one who's been the cause of all the recent chaos. That was a great uh, ace attorney point. And what of it? You fools will never manage to capture me. Oh yeah? What's your reasoning? A villain is someone who never considers losing a possibility. That's why he thinks the way he does. If so, then what makes you quite... That makes you quite a villain, Yuri. Can't read today. Yeah, he's pretty nefarious. Alright, I'm surrounded by really weak-looking grunts. But Yuri's got a new sword there, so I'm not worried. Yeah, I would dare to oppose you, buddy. All the better for us to tear things up. Yeah, take them down, I'm sure. Up, doing a little uh, spin just for just for funsies. The fools have started to march. Now the meddlesome dawn and the knights will destroy each other. Yeah. But I already know from talking to White Horse that the whole thing is kind of just a front anyway. Of course he's going to weaken the Imperial Knights so that the Council can step in and control the Empire. Oh my. The Knights and the Union going down together. It's just as Flynn said. Hmm. So what if you... What if you know now? No matter what you do, you won't be able to stop the battle. Hmm. We'll see. And your existence comes to an end here. Well, didn't, he didn't try to stop Estelle from running around there. There's a lot of damage you could do from behind. And... Ah, oh, Flynn. Flynn has a cool horse. Yeah, that's Flynn. Up. Oh. Flynn's... Flynn's yelling for peace. I am Flynn Shifo, and I have a letter! The letter you received from the Empire was false. It was a work of a rebel drawback. False alarm! False alarm! Call off the war! Call it off! Yeah, he wouldn't leave me behind to be executed. Unless something bad happened to him, and that would just make you a jerk. Oh, the voices are back on. Whoa. Yuri, they're aiming at Flynn. Is that a rifle? Or a bazooka? <laughs> nice throw, Carol. Nice shot, Carol. You brats think you can stop me? 
Oh man, they have rifles. Also, Yuri just... Yuri just protected himself from an explosion by covering his eyes. Yuri, no, it's too dangerous. You can see what scenes the budget was lower it for. Okay, the rifles run on air, so they need time to recharge, I guess. Now! You're too late. No, he charged up too quickly. Up oh, and the dragon's here. Okay, the dragon's here. What the hell? How the he what the hell indeed? How did it get in there? Oh, so you're back for more dragon freak? I'm really confused about the angles going on here. All right. Yeah, Rita, now is not the time. Clearly, this dragon is helping us. And, and, and Barbos has a chainsaw. It keeps getting better. Oh my goodness. He's a twirling killer. What? <laughs> How is the... Okay, he called the lady riding a dragon a freak. But there is a pirate with one arm that's a morning star. And the other one was holding a chainsaw sword that made him fly. What on earth? Oh! Oh hey, the dragon knight's giving me a ride. Yeah, thanks, bud. This guy's overloaded enough as it is. But what should we? You guys hold down the fort here. What? And stay out of trouble. Damn it, Yuri! And let Flynn know I'm stepping out for a while. Um. Okay. So, at what point did the Dragon Rider and Yuri come to this agreement? It's not like they've shared any scenes together before. Oh wow, that looks pretty crazy though. Is this pre-rendered? Looks pretty pre-rendered. The lighting is exquisite. Well, it's different at least. And it knows Hyper Beam. It's not really what I think of when I think of a dragon. It's very differently shaped than dragons normally are, but I like it. Um, what is this? Is this a weather control device? Where, where are we? Wait, did did we just go into a different game? When did we talk about destroying a a doomsday machine? Where did this come from? Okay, I remember seeing this on the overworld map though when it was all covered in clouds. I didn't know what it was at the time though. Okay, we're at the Tower of Gears Gosforust. Am I supposed to have any idea what's going on? Is this the thing that was controlling the weather for a go? Trouble. You, you've destroyed the blast here. Yeah, Dragon Rider. That's what that's what Dragon Riders do. Hey, are you okay? Whoa, somebody's shooting fire. Bastards. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's going on? Everything just Everything went right off the deep end during this battle, and it's not letting me actually fight any of it. It's just putting it all into this ridiculous cutscene. Come on, we're just getting started. No, it's fine. I don't. I don't even want to fight Barbos. I don't want to fight any of these guys. I'll just watch you do it. My men won't have any trouble taking care of a brat like you. That'll probably let me fight these guys though, because they look like enemies I fought before. Yep. Doesn't let you fight the um, other characters because they're NPC designs. That is a lot of banditos, though. Okay. Yeah, this is this is this might be a few too many banditos for me, actually. Getting kind of overwhelmed here. Also, the banditos still make the dumbest sound when I hit them. I was hoping Destruction Field would kind of have more of an impact, hit more of them at once. 
Yeah, I'm just I'm just kind of tanking these guys at this point because Yeah, you're right. These guys almost can handle me. And they're fast, too. Man, I just... I defeated the Scorpion pretty much no problem. I'm not gonna end because of you guys. I mean, it's not like you're Bacchus and Adakor. Good thing Yuri knows how to make rice balls. Is that all you got? Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you your place. Wow, one on one? Really? Huh, that's a handy sword you've got. Sure is. Did it just shoot wind waves at me? Sword, huh? I don't know. What do you think? I haven't lost yet, but yeah. You're monologuing. And we fade to black. Why did we fade to black? Wait, where are we? Now shut up for a while. Oh, no, we just gave up. What's the deal? Please. I've got to get out of here. It's always something with you, isn't it, old man? It's not polite to point sharp objects at your elders. Yeah, what? Where did you come from? Hey. Wait, the dragon rider was in this cell with me and they let it keep its armor? I've been saying it because I know it's not a guy, but that's just because I know things about this game. Damn it. Why would you let her keep her armor? Wouldn't you want to know her identity? Also, don't you think the armor would help her if she tried to mount an escape? She's Christian? Okay, Critian. That's what those people are called with the crazy ponytails. Right? <laughs> Sorry. Well, after all, you did help Baul back there. Baul? Yes, my friend. The dragon? Oh, you mean that monster? That's rude, Yuri. Don't call your friends monsters. I just, oh my gosh. So tell me, what are you going around destroying Blastia for? I, I, I need a breath. Hold on. Because now she's, like, practically naked. And, like... <sighs> that was a lot. Okay. This last 14 minutes has just been a lot. Not a big deal if you don't feel like talking about it. I'm afraid it's not as impressive as you might think. I'm destroying them because I want to. You're right. I'm not all that impressed. I wonder if anybody was, like, disturbed in this cell when this admittedly beautiful so lady just started, like, stripping all of her too. armor off until she's down to this kind of battle bikini. Yes, but I didn't finish the job. I'm not a, I'm not objectifying. I'm just saying I bet people in the cell Maybe found it weird. Let this one go? Maybe a little exciting. There wouldn't be any fun in destroying something like that. Huh. Okay. Slowly walking over to the door. Hmm. Hey, why don't we work together a little longer? Hmm. It's true, I wasn't able to finish off the Blastia on the roof. And they did leave these two very capable okay, warriors then. unbound in a big cell. So what do we do? Hmm, there is one way I was thinking we could get out of here. We could kill everyone. Well, if you think it might work, what's the harm in trying it out? I always say, those who can, should. Okay, just go along with me on this. I'll just follow your lead. Okay. Don't worry. It's a little nerve-wracking working with a pretty lady, though. What? Punching people? Oh, this is the plan. Oh, that is it. Pipe down. Cut it out. 
Are you guys really going to open the door to break them up? I said that's enough. <laughs> Look at how mad that guy in the yellow hat is. Okay, seriously, that's like breakout plan number one, guys. Who taught you how to guard? Ta-da! You're free. Thanks for your help. I think I still owe you one more. Huh? <laughs> Guess I uh, overdid it back there. There. That makes us even. I'm Yuri. Yuri Lowell. Judith. Judith? Uh, Judy's easier to say. Yeah, but she doesn't want to be I'm called Judy. Alright, on to the next objective. You can't just make up what to call people, it's rude. Well, we could check out the blasty on the roof. All we have to do is go up. Won't your friends be waiting for you? I don't mind taking care of the blasty at first. Up we go then. Okay. And how exactly do we go up? This is heavy. Yeah, just go wander off. Reminds me of a certain princess. A princess? Did the um did the vocals just cut out again? I couldn't hear anything he just said. Hey, why were you wearing that stuffy looking suit of armor? For oh, protection? You didn't like it? It's pretty sturdy and protects my body quite nicely. See? Look at this beautiful skin, free of bruises and blemishes. Oh dear. Very nice. I'm actually worried where my eyes might wander. You don't look all that worried to me. I've just got a good poker face. So you're okay? You don't mind leaving your armor behind? It's sturdy, but it's heavy. Walking around with that on tires me out. Hey, no complaints here. I prefer eye candy to scary armor any day. <laughs> okay, I can think of worse ways for them to justify having a half-naked woman on the team. You know, <laughs> Yuri and Judith's personalities mesh really well. Glowing green thing. It looks like we can't go any higher and we can't go outside either. What's the matter? My spear is gone. Things might be difficult without a weapon. Hmm? What the? Is the sorcerer's ring broken? Did the air here do this? Hey, you're more old... You're more fashion conscious than I thought. This isn't fashion. You go like this and... It moved. It's powered up. I'll bet you can move other levers with that too. You think it's okay? I'm afraid it might blow up or something. If it happens, it happens. For now, let's pull that lever over there. If something this tiny exploded, I guess it wouldn't be too dangerous. I don't know, people get really hurt by, like, firecrackers going off in their hand. Like, you can use the... You can lose the use of your hand permanently. Okay, this is my weapon. Can't find yours? Someone might have just took it. Maybe. Why don't you just pick one here? Uh, right. Was that something special for you? Yes, it was. Well, this should do for a while. I'll take this. Are you fine with that? I don't think I will find my weapon here. I'll look for it as I go on. I'll try looking for it too. Thank you. Alright, and Judith has his spear now. Great. I'm gonna heal up. Was that fancy ring a present from someone? Hmm, I guess you could call it a present. Well, well, looks like you're quite the ladies' man. No, no, no. I'm just a big sucker. Oh? It's amazing enough the ring holds power, but it even reacts to air and becomes stronger. You must have a very strong bond with the girl who gave that to you. And that's one bond I wouldn't mind breaking. Ah, uh, don't talk like that, Yuri. Personally, I wish Estelle was here right now. Wait, what are we checking? Um... Yeah, I have enough life bottles. In fact, I just replenished my stock of life bottles. Okay, so I guess we'll uh, go up. Um, I guess we'll... Do I shoot it? Do I press A? 
Um, I don't understand. I thought that was something I had to interact with. What? What do you have to say? Thanks a lot. You even got my stuff back. Want to buy something? Um, is now the best time? Is now the best time for us to be doing this? I, I don't think it is. <laughs> okay, good point. It's gonna grow up to be a great businessman. It's back here. Alright. More stuff. Gonna raid this uh, specific. Um, magic lenses. I don't need any more. This episode has just thrown me for a loop. I don't know what's up from down anymore. Treasure? More. Tr don't need any life bottles. Do I have to hit that lever too? Okay, there we go. Sounds good. So. Um, why are you question marking at me? Okay, I'll just go down the stairs it showed me before. Or up the stairs, rather. You're pretty strong. Can you use an overlimit by any chance? Sure, yeah. Okay, then try this. Huh? What's this? The Limit Duo. Your battle spirit can allow you to use even more powerful overlimits. Oh yeah? If your battle spirit is the real thing, that is. So, what else can you tell me about these strong overlimits? You can produce more power when attacking alone. Or they say you can share battle spear with someone else. Is that so? I still don't quite get it. Really? Maybe you'll pick it up as you use them in battle. Sounds good to me. All right, let's get moving then. Um, all right, I'll check that out later. Now let's actually get into some battles. Man, could you be any weaker? I guess I'll go easy on them. So we got uh, horse raptors and banditos, things I've seen before. All right, cool. Kind of just. Having fun watching Judith fight now. Press and strike, huh? Oh, yep, she uh, produced a moon so that she could cut it in half. Very cool. Um, no, he was on his fallen animation, so that didn't hit at all. Alright. Make a rice ball there. Cool. Ash and Moonlight. And the title, Great Lancer. Alright. Oh, nope. Get hit. There you go. This is a new enemy. Wide open. It's nothing personal. Alright, let's get one of those magic lenses I've been using. And we got a soldier here. Nope, it's too good at guarding. Oh, and they got water magic. I got a, quite the mixed party here. Got wizard, rogue, and fighter. Or soldier, bandito, witch. Nope. None of that. Stop guarding, you're making me angry. I always miss having a healer, though, when I don't have one. Who's up for more? Heh. Alright, you don't have to talk so tough, Yuri. Failed to cook a rice ball. Alright, hold on, I'm gonna set some uh, cooking tips here. Alright, great. A crescent axe. Um, might be good for me. I don't know. I'm kind of trying to 
learn a skill Man, using the weapon I'm currently here? using, though. Alright. Let's get another magic lens out here. Alright, scissor beak. Kind of like how we had axe beaks before. That's a scissor beak. No! It's not listening to me. I was trying to prevent that spell. I will not suffer a caster. Alright. Not as good as fighting these off the ground units. Man, I was just getting warmed up. Alright, Judith, make me a sandwich. Don't know why I keep making all the ladies make sandwiches. I had Carol making sandwiches before. Alright. Open this treasure chest here. A battle suit. Neat. Um, yeah, I couldn't hit that with the ring. This will make good practice. Don't get careless. Alright, find some birds. I really just don't like fighting flying things. I feel like I'm ill-equipped for it. Um... Yeah, let's do a lemon gel. I'm low enough on health. Seems warranted. Judith's still doing good for now. Hopefully I don't have to go without a healing unit for too much longer. Wow, Estelle's the only one in the party that has really any healing capabilities, huh? Oh no, well, Carol. Carol's got some healing moves. But he has to be, like, in melee range to do it, which is kind of strange. Um, there's boxes in the way of that door, but I can go through these doors. <laughs> Hoping they all go to roughly the same place. Uh, we'll see after it finishes loading. Yep, we're getting out of here. Crazy gear castle. Raven! Whoa, Raven... There. That's the last hey, my team came after me. <laughs> Looks like you guys have How the heck control. they got here is beyond me. You're well, I guess I took down the storm so they could walk there now. Hey, what gives? Come on, lay off, oh, she's checking you? out his glorious chest. Are you okay? Were you hurt? Never been better. You worry too much. Aww. I thought I told you all to stay put for a while. <laughs> Carol just like has this pouty look on his face. What do you expect? We were worried Oh, that's about because you. he's pouting. Hey, just for the record, I wasn't worrying about him. Well, I for one was worried sick. Yeah, right. And when did you just start showing up wherever we go anyway? That's a good point. It's like this, see. The Don's having a fit saying there's no way he'll let Barbos make a fool out of him. But I'm the one he sends to do his dirty work. What do you think you guys are doing coming in this way? It's saving us. Well, the front door was locked. That's not the point. Yeah, Estelle's just not taking her eyes off Yuri. And who might this lovely Critian be? Is she a princess? Yeah, I expected this reaction from Raven. Laying it on a little thick there, old man. This is Judith. And we were locked up together. Hello. Hi, I'm Carol. I'm Estelise. Rita Mordio. And I'm Comic. And I am the great... Old man. It's Raven. R-A-V-E-N. Raven. Oh, they use the uh, Latin alphabet. You have to wonder about people who introduce themselves like that. Hmm. That didn't quite have the zing I was looking for. I think that'll do for now. <laughs> what an interesting bunch of people. Said the dragon rider. Ooh, I think she likes me. Raven, how are you pulling off these flips? Idiot. Judith, what were you doing in a place like this? I came to have a look at the Blastia. Oh, yeah. Rita's not going to like All finding out that here? she's the dragon Why? rider. I... She was captured while she was on a sort of research trip. <laughs> Yuri always lies for everybody. Yeah, the Critia do like their research. That's racist. <laughs> Were you able to locate your Aqua Blastia? 
Nope, not this time either. Well, we didn't look that hard, to be honest. I wonder if it's somewhere here in this tower. We'll just have to ask Barbos about it once we've caught him. Okay, let's go. Are we gonna catch him? Oh, hey, repeat. What is it, old man? Up. Uh, nothing. Just thinking how you could really brag to your friends if you lived in a place like this. <laughs> Repeat doesn't like the sound of this conversation, I guess. Repeat, come on. I guess you too, old man. You guess? What's that supposed to mean? Raven, what's up with you? Aren't you a little old for hide and seek? What's wrong with poking your head out every once in a while? Oh, hey. These kids are really giving it a go. They could use your help every now and again. If such a necessity arises, I shall interfere. No such necessity exists now. What? All right, all right. I know you've got your own business to take care of. I do not have the time for these clowning antics of yours. Jeez, watch where you're pointing words like that. The affairs of this world hold no interest for me. Okay, and I reunited with everybody, and Raven knows Duke, and they're doing something. All right, well, um, ah, shoot. Okay, well, I'm just going to plop everything there for now. I think that was quite enough for this episode. So this has been the comic foil. I'll see you guys next time where maybe now we'll get to fight Barbos. Maybe. Game's being kind of cheeky about that. <laughs>